does not believe, and she is willing to live in him, let him not divorce her. Verse 13. And a woman who has who has a husband who does not believe, if he is willing to live with her, let her not divorce him. Verse 14. For the unbelieving husband is sanctified by the wife, and the unbelieving wife is sanctified by the husband. Otherwise, your children will be unclean, but now they are holy. Let's go to verse 15. But if the unbeliever departs, many have not been very keen to this verse 15. If unbeliever departs, let him depart, a brother or a sister. It is not under it is not under bondage in such cases, but God has called us to peace. This is the verse that many don't read. If you are living with an unbeliever, or you are, you are living with a believer, or you are a believer, and the an unbeliever you have stayed with is causing you more problems, then one day this unbeliever or believer departs to reign in peace. There is no bondage to keep you in a wrong relationship, in a wrong marriage context, until you die in there. Death will make us part, but marriage should not be the cause of your death. Marriage should not be the cause of your death. Bible says in verse 15 of 1 Corinthians 7, verse 15, But if the unbeliever departs, let him depart. A brother or a sister is not, not under bondage in such cases. You are not put under bondage. God is not happy for people to die in sin. And God is not happy for people to die in a wrong way. And wisdom of God 